Hey guys, welcome back to another week of Our Kids Online. My name is Allie. And I'm Bagel. And we are so excited to have you. Oh, so excited. Bagel. Yes. Guess what? What's going on? Oh my goodness. It's finally here. Oh boy. Harvest Festival. Harvest Light Festival. Light up the night. Light up the night. It is here. Like, well, it depends on when you watch this, but it is on Monday, this Monday, October 31st, at our Gaithersburg campus at 7 p.m. Wow. Don't miss it. It's gonna be so much fun. We have some incredible inflatables. Yes. Um, we have some amazing costumes. Oh yeah. And we have a truckload of candy. There you go. It did not all get eaten by Mr. Bagel. I, I tried. 
He tried didn't work. really hard. It did not work out for him. So <laughs> there's still plenty of candy. Bring your friends, your family, bring everybody. It's going to be a blast. Absolutely. Don't forget to wear your costume. And don't forget to wear your costume. Yeah. Roll your windows down. Say hi to us. Say hi to all of our characters. It's going to be so much fun. Yep. All right. So we'll see you guys there. But today yes. is the last day, right? Of... Well, last day of Hear Me Roar. I almost forgot. Roar. Wow. Come on. We're going to continue learning about <laughs> Daniel. It's going to be an amazing story. Mm -hmm. And after that, we're going to have a fun competition. Yes, another game. You see, I have lost every competition. Oh, no. At least the last six competitions, guys. <laughs> so we're going to see if I could okay. win on the next one. Right. Do you believe in me? I believe in you, but I'm not going to take it easy. All right. I'll try my best. But <laughs> see you soon. Catch you later. All right. We will go ahead and pray. Oh. Should we pray? I think we, we should pray. have to do that. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Would you like to pray for us? I would love to pray okay. for us. Let's pray. God, thank you, Lord, for another weekend, Lord. We just... Thank you for being such a good, good father for, uh, to us and teaching us and loving us and helping us grow, Lord. Uh, thank you for the story of Daniel. I pray that we all just hear what you have uh, for us to hear today and we learn something new. Thank you, Lord, for everything that you're doing. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. <laughs> all right. Now we'll catch you later. <laughs>10 minutes ago, I saw a chimpanzee do a backflip off of a tire. A tire. A tire that was hanging from a, a rope. A little tire swing. He did a backflip. Then five minutes before that, I saw a giraffe eat a dude's hat. It was awesome. You know, there's just something about going to the zoo that gets me ah, pumped. Woo! I don't know if it's the elephant mud or the smell of stale pretzels. Something about it ah, just reminds me of my childhood. I don't ever want to leave. Dear fellow zoo-goers, the zoo is closing in five minutes. Please gather your personal items and find the nearest exit. Thank you for visiting the zoo. What? Are you kidding me? No, I'm a robot, and I am not allowed to. Kid. Oh, thanks. I didn't think you could, uh, hear me. Ha ha ha. I hear everything. Alright, that is scary. Anywho, kids, why didn't you tell me the zoo is going to close? Oh man, this stinks. So if I have to leave the zoo now, that means I have to go... Where? I don't know. Man, I don't want to leave. The world's falling apart. <laughs> I think you're being a little dramatic. Hi! Carl! <laughs> oh no, what's going on? I mean, the, it's just that the zoo's closing now and I don't know what's going to happen. What do you mean? What do I mean? I mean, I have to leave the one place I love more than anything. To where? Home? Waffle House? Home Depot? I don't know what's ahead of me and I'm scared. All right, well, that's fine. No one knows what's ahead of him. What do you mean? Well, look how afraid Daniel was when he had his dream. What are you talking about? Daniel and, and his dream. Look at Daniel, uh, Old Testament, chapter seven. Okay, well, one night Daniel had a dream and it was strange. So the dream started out with Daniel looking out at the sea and there was a strong wind and it started shaking the tree. Then something came out of the water. Really? What? Four big beasts. All of them came up out of the water and each of them had a special power. Describe them, please. All right, so the first beast looked like a lion, but it had wings like eagles. Terrifying. Continue. The second beast was a bear holding three rib bones in its mouth. Also terrifying. The third beast was a jaguar with four wings like a bird. 
Oh, that's not too weird. But it also had four heads. And there it is. And then the last beast was a very scary and strong one. It had iron teeth and 10 horns. Cool, that sounds cool. After that, Daniel saw God's throne and the last beast was killed. The rest of the beast had their powers all taken away. All right, I'm following you. Then Daniel suddenly sees what they call the Son of Man. Oh, I think I know him. He was shown that the Son of Man would be in control of every nation for all time. Seriously? Is that true? It sure is. But Daniel woke up and he was a bit scared. What? Why? That's a fun and intense dream. Yeah, but Daniel knew that it meant something. Really? Dreams can mean something? Sometimes, but that wasn't uncommon in the Old Testament times. Daniel knew that the beasts represented kings of the world. And no matter how mighty and powerful that those kings would ever be, no one is as powerful as God. Daniel didn't know it then, but we know now that the Son of Man in this dream was probably talking about Jesus and how he is truly the king. A king more powerful than any king in the past, present, or future. Well, you're right about that. Man, I can't imagine being Daniel. That is a super heavy dream. Think about it, Jesus hadn't come to the earth yet. And Daniel's seen bits and pieces of the future, and I don't know, that could be a bit scary. No, you're totally right, Carl. Not knowing what the future holds can be scary. I find myself worrying all the time about what's gonna happen tomorrow. What am I gonna do when I get older? How am I gonna keep a job? Why do I have to have a job? <sighs> you know what I mean, Carl? Totally, I worry about a ton of things, and I don't know how to stop it. Well, just know this, you can only control what you can control. Huh? Think about it, you can't control what tomorrow will ever look like or what can happen. So instead of worrying, we need to learn to trust God more and more. Oh, I like that. What if I mess up and do worry though? That's okay, God will always be there for us. We just need to keep trying and trusting. Hey there kiddos, how was the story? Did Carl stop crying? I hope so. So today's big idea is, I don't know the future, but I know God is with me. Oh, that is so good. So let's roar it out loud on the count of three. Ready? Three, two, one. I don't know the future, but I know God is with me. <laughs> good job, kids. That was rhinorific. That was a rhino joke. Like rhino and terrific, put into one word. Get it? No? Okay. Anywho, thank you so much for watching Grow TV. I hope to see you next time. Bye! Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Grow TV! God wants you to put your hope in Jesus and feel his love is peace, joy, and strength. And it starts with being saved. Romans 10 verse 9 says that if you believe in your hearts and confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and that he died on the cross for your sins and that God raised him from the dead and that that very moment you will be saved. So if you're ready to say yes to Jesus, in a few seconds you can repeat a prayer after me. If you've already prayed that prayer to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you don't need to do it again. You are already saved. But if you've never prayed that prayer before, bow your head and repeat after me. But really mean it with your whole heart. Dear Jesus, I know that I am a sinner and that I've done many wrong things. Please forgive me of my sins. Jesus, I believe that you died on the cross for my sins, that God raised you from the dead, and that you are alive today. So I put my whole trust in you as my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. That's wonderful if you prayed that prayer with me. You have made the best and the most important decision of your life. And you are now a member of God's family. And we're so proud of you and so excited for you. Now, there are two things that you need to do. One, tell your parent or another trusted adult that you've prayed to start a relationship with Jesus. Two, we want to celebrate with you and send you a little gift. So let us know that you prayed by texting the word KID 
KID to 240-269-2100. And welcome to the family of God. Welcome back. Hey guys. Wow, that was such a great story. We learned mm -hmm. such an important theme. What was our big idea again? Our theme, our... <laughs> I said our theme. I our big too. idea was, <laughs> yes. I don't know the future, but I know that God is with me. Wow. And in today's, really in today's story, we learned mm -hmm. that Daniel had a dream. Yes. And it wasn't it was a, a weird happy dream. dream. It was a weird dream. Yeah. In fact, it was a little bit scary. There it's were one of those ones that make you wake up in the middle of the night. Like, <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And we learned that there were four beasts. And then we also learned that what the dream meant. And what the dream meant was when Jesus comes, and Jesus is already here, but he is stronger and more powerful than mm -hmm. any of the kings back then, in the present, and even in the future. Yeah. And that makes me start thinking about the future because when I think about the future, I do a lot of what ifs. Have you ever did, done a oh, what yeah. if? yeah, it's not a fun game to play. Actually. Absolutely, <laughs> like what if the pizza guy forgets my pizza? Or yeah, what if I, right what there. if I go to church and I forget my shoe? You know, so many what ifs to make me worry about. But I know, even though, like you said, our big idea, I don't know the future. Even though I don't know the mm -hmm. future, I know that God is working in the background and I'm part of His master plan. So that makes me feel at ease. Now, it also makes me want to wonder. <laughs> it makes me want to wonder, <laughs> Ali. Yes. What um. is something hmm what is something that makes you uncomfortable about the future oh tough question that's a tough question well you know i think the hardest part when you think about the future hmm. is just not knowing if things are going to work out the way that you want them to work out wow you know yeah and Sometimes it's good that things don't work out the way that we want them to work out because God has a better plan in place um, And he's always gonna provide but sometimes it feels like Am I gonna get to do this thing? Yeah, am I gonna get to have this or do yeah. this or be this and just that unknown can be kind of scary Definitely. but when we trust God and we know and we actually believe in our heart that God is working for us. Yes, it takes away all that fear and all I have to do is, you know, just live my life and God's going to take wow. me where I need to go. Thank you for sharing that. Right? Absolutely. <laughs> You're welcome. So good. Okay, so... Such a good series. You know, I think we have to finish out with one more candy game though, right? I kind of just want to eat these. Oh. But can you explain I what mean, we're I doing? I don't blame you. <laughs> I don't blame you. All right. We have another um, game here with spoons. I think you know where this is probably going. Yes. Right into Bagel's mouth. Uh-huh, I knew it. Oh, these are chewy. <laughs> I need one just to make sure the first one wasn't just too How did chewy. that go for you? My teeth are stuck. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so actually what I forgot to ask. Okay, so what we're going to do is there are five colors of gumdrops. Yes. Okay. You can arrange your cups however you would like to arrange them. And we have five cups. And surprise, surprise, we have to sort the uh, gumdrops by color into their cups. Yes. And we do this with the spoon like this. Right? I have That's gumdrops stuck in my tooth. <laughs> Maybe that'll it'll act like glue in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this, guys. Uh oh. Okay, that was better. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> so, um, I think there's the pink, the orange, and the red. Look at this. Can you all tell the difference here? Yeah, they... Actually, in the light, it's a little better. The but pink is like, just a little bit lighter like than the red. all the same. Yes. So there are five colors. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help it. He's gonna win just because he has fewer gumdrops. No, <laughs> if you want, I'll help you. So wait, is this a timed game? Or yes, is this a, it's okay, a timed this game. Is a timed game. Let me get the timer. You got it or you want me to get it? No, I don't he have my phone. have it. I'm gonna get the timer, okay. Who doesn't keep their phone on them anymore? Mm -hmm. you know just kidding. All right. <laughs> They're all stuck in my face. Should we do <laughs> one minute? Mm -hmm. Let's do one minute. Okay. Wait, am I using my mouse? I am using my mouse. Okay. Yes. 
Okay, I think I feel like I gotta get all this arranged Let's just move. right. And it's to see who can who can get the most into their into their cups. Mm -hmm. right. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. My work is set. Go. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, Okay. Mm. This is not working. <laughs> I'm having trouble. Mm. 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 Unfair. <laughs> I ran out of clubs. <laughs> oh no. Is it been a minute yet? Oh yeah. Mm. It did go. <laughs> what happened to the timer? Mm. Where did the timer go? It didn't start. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Miss Alley. <laughs> okay, now it's going for me. <laughs> mm. Alright, I'm gonna start okay, over again. We gotta keep going. Guys, I feel pretty good. Oh boy, I put that in the wrong cup. Oh man, this is hard. I do not <laughs> recommend this, but I'm having so much fun. <laughs> what is happening over here? I'm trying. What's going on? I'm trying my best here. I'm not paying any attention. What, where's your fifth cup? Oh no, it fell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, timer's up. Oh yeah. Oh, well, wow. We had some timer malfunction. I oh boy. I think it went off the first time and we just missed it. Yes. <laughs> so we went for like two minutes. Okay. Who do you think Should won? Should we count? Yeah. Okay, how do we count? It has to be sorted properly. Like you can't count a color that is in there that shouldn't be in there. Okay. Four plus three is seven, plus three is 10, plus three is 13, plus two is 15. <laughs> I have oh, two green cups. <laughs> I have two green cups. Okay, how many did you get? <laughs> oh my gosh. I need a recount. <laughs> um, <laughs> we'll call it for a recount. I think it's safe to say that I won. No, I got 13. I had 15. And you've got two pinks <laughs> and three reds <laughs> in here. I only got them three. I got three oh colors in here, oh guys. No. Oh, man. Well, maybe get a candy that looks Make sure. a little different in their colors. <laughs> but, guys, I had so much fun. He's still eating them. You guys can do it, too. There we go. All right. We love you guys. Oh, next week, we start a new series. Mm-hmm. Can you talk right now? No. Okay. <laughs> next week, we start a new series My called... Behind the scenes. Behind the scenes. His teeth are stuck. Behind the <laughs> scenes. And it is on this great, amazing girl. Her name is Esther. Mm -hmm. So we're going to learn all about Esther next month. It's going to be amazing, fantastic. And we will see you there. And we'll see you at Light Up the Night. Can't wait. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>